Okay, so today I'm going to scrap this electric weed whacker. This does not work. This thing weighs nine pounds, 10 ounces, and a shred, that is about 75 cents. So there was only 789 screws, so that wasn't too bad. Let's have a look. And there it is. It's a pretty good sized motor. And that entire thing is just shred. Well, disassembly is quite easy. Gotta love that. There's a switch. We got some goodies inside of there. Another switch. And there's the brass prongs we'll remove. And there's the insulated wire. All right, let's check these windings to see if it's copper or aluminum. And it is copper. Woohoo! A little dancing party. Yeah! Gotta love that copper. Oh, I just love it when it's copper. So now, time to get this bad boy apart. Okay, so the bolts are loose, but I'm gonna have to remove this so the shaft will slide through this piece of aluminum right here. So then we can pull the whole armature out. So just pull that off. There we go. That wasn't too bad. So that's just plastic. Should be able to, oh yeah, well that was just easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And there is our wonderful stator. We'll get that copper out. And we have this armature. And just to confirm it's copper. And it's copper as well. No more dance party, I'm all danced out. A Little bit of hammer time. This will make Ian Matthews happy. He loves a hammer. And there it is. Here is the brush holder. These are going to be brass. And there's a little bit of copper wire. Lovely little piece of brass. And there's another one on there. But first we want to cut this piece of copper wire off of there. And then, this is just a piece of graphite. What do y'all do with it? Do you just throw it in your shred? Do you throw it in your garbage? Do you keep them for a purpose? Copper wire. Just need a little bit of persuasion. The other piece of brass, the other little piece of copper, and we've got a bronze bushing in here. My yard just buys that as yellow brass. So I'm just going to take a pounding rod. This is, I don't know, something I found from scrap. We just knock that bearing right on out. We got this piece of steel right here. If you can grab a hold of it with your side cutters, it'll be easier to pull out. But sometimes you just have to use your screwdriver. So you just get it under there and then just pry it. I'm going to do that, but my hand's going to block it. And there it is. And now that is a clean piece of cast. And let's get the other one cleaned up. And that one's a little bit bigger, but it's also going to be bronze. And another clean piece of cast. Okay, let's get the copper out of this bad boy. There's a few different ways that you could do these. You can take your ang angle grinder and cut flat along here, cutting off both sides. Or you can pry these up. And 
And now I'm just going to cut right here and right here with my side cutters. And now that that's cut, I just like to straighten them up. So now when I pull it through, this is straight up and down. Now when you're doing that, just rest your handle on the bench and push down instead of squeezing. You'll, you'll, your wrist will thank you. So now that we're, th we're there, we need to pull this out. Sometimes you don't need to put it in the vise. And this one looks like Oh yeah. Easy peasy. But Sometimes they're stiff, so just clamp it in the vise like that and then just pry it out. Well, it appears that this one is a little bit more stubborn, so we're going to go to the vise after all. And there we go. He decided to take the paper with it. And there is our two lovely coils of copper. But wait, there's more. We have the armature. Okay, so we have this commentator right here and most of the time they are copper, but sometimes they can be brass. So you just wanna check it with your file. This one is copper. And sometimes you can just get under here and then just pry up the little pieces of copper. And there they are. And now for the armature. I have a video showing three different ways to do that. I'll link that in the description if you all want to check it out. Okay, on this end, I am going to crown this and I'm going to cut off the copper and the shaft, cutting as close to the steel as possible. Now on this end, I'm just going to cut the copper. I want to leave this shaft attached. Okay, so once you start to see sparks, that, that'll let you know that you're cutting into the shaft. And so then we just rotate it and finish cutting. Okay, now that we got that cut up, just need to separate this copper from this steel shaft. Now we can just use a screwdriver or something just to pry and break up this copper on this other crown that we did. And now you can see why I left the shaft on there because I'm using that to clamp it down in the vise instead of clamping around here, squeezing this and just making the copper even more difficult to remove. So now you just grab your punch Get my hand out of the way and we just drive them down.
there's our lovely copper. Before we get to that, there's this piece. And you can see this is cast aluminum. But you're looking at maybe a couple ounces of cast aluminum. You know, aluminum is just so light. And you have to remove this plastic here to get this removed. And really, it's just not worth it. It's just better to sell this as shred because that way you can leave this plastic on here and you don't have to deal with throwing away the plastic. And in my case, I have to pay per pound for my garbage because I have to go to the dump myself. I don't have garbage pickup here. So the other thing is, is there is a pressed on piece holding the shaft that goes through here and it's a real bear to remove. So my recommendation is to just sell this as shred. Sometimes you gotta know when the juice is not worth the squeeze. And what you're gaining by getting the aluminum, you're gonna lose that by removing the weight of this plastic and having to deal with that. So shred it is. E-Waste Mike, you're gonna love that. Okay, so let's have a look at everything here. And we have some cast aluminum. 3.65 ounces and that is 10 cents there is not even quite an ounce of insulated wire so you're, we're just looking at like two or three cents in that really not much we have 1.15 ounces of brass for 15 cents now this is going to be number one steel and there is two pounds 10.2 ounces of that for 27 cents. Then we are left with four and a half pounds of shreddable steel for 35 cents. And now the copper. 11.7 ounces of copper for $2.30, giving us a grand total of $3.17. That's not including the insulated wire. So maybe around $3.20 for the whole entire thing scrapped out versus 75 cents as shred. Now, some folks, including Nacho Stuff, has been asking me to include the working time it is to scrap this. To scrap all of this, I'd say it would be about 15 minutes, depending on your level of experience and the tools that you have. But if you just wanted to go after the stator and then sell the armature as it was you could probably do that all in about five minutes as you saw you just take off the plastic cover pull out the motor clip the wires boom you're on your way and this represents seven ounces of the 11.7 .7 ounces of total copper so as you can see this right here is the bulk of our value so you can do five minutes or 15 minutes. It all depends on what you would like to do. Well, anyways, that is going to conclude today's video. I sure hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video and it helps my channel. And I thank you for that. Thank you to all my subscribers. I just appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate the comments that you leave. I appreciate you hitting that like button and watching the videos. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. God, I thank you for a, another wonderful day. Lord, whoever is watching this video that might be suffering from depression right now, God, I ask that you'll please help them, Lord. Either heal them supernaturally or just help them to find the necessary resources to help with their depression, Lord. So I just ask that you would just help those people, God, because you didn't design us to be depressed. And this is a hard world that we live in right now. And there's a lot of things that can keep us down and make us depressed. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you, Jesus. So I just lift them all up to you, God, and ask that you will please help them, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the next video.